What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have our first Pokemon Go uh, break for the channel. Um, I'm not sure how many of these there will be, um, but it should be fun to take a look. I have seen like the pre-release spoilers, and, or not the pre-release, but the, like the spoilers and everything. Um, I feel like this set is a little underwhelming, but to be honest, to not have like a <laughs> super hyped up special set is... You know, not not too bad. It's not a bad thing in my opinion. Um, I feel like lately a lot of the sets have just been like really good. So to be able to take a breather is a welcome change. Uh, so these two bot ETBs are going to be one is for a patron Ty and one is for a patron um, A. And uh, yeah, now I'm sure people have seen that already. What is this all about? Looks like there's kind of codes and stuff like that. Oh, I didn't actually didn't know they did that. Pokemon Go. I I feel like this set, like, why wasn't this done, I don't know, like, two years ago? When, like, I, I stopped playing Pokemon Go after I moved away from, like, the greater Boston area, where it was just a lot easier to play. I could actually play from my apartment. And so, since I, then I moved to, like, more suburb area. Ooh, you know what? This CTP promo is actually pretty well centered. And I feel like this side is maybe a little thicker. Uh, but not a bad looking Mewtwo. Let me get a good angle for you. And so let's just take a look at the dice real quick. Yeah, very, very plain, but no worries there. But yeah, you know, there's a, a Radiant Charizard. Looks pretty cool. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I do like the Mewtwo in the city as well as um, the gold one. So hopefully we can pull one of those. All right, Ty. Appreciate it. Let me open this on your behalf and a best of luck. Here we go. Pack number one. We'll just take a look through the cards. And I don't know, okay, some of the arts I do like because this does, you know, remind me of playing Pokemon Go. Um, but some of them not so much. Like, you know, what is this? Why is this a Pokemon Go set? Uh, Eevee, not bad. Not too crazy about like the 3D art, but since it's Pokemon Go, that makes complete sense to me. This art looks very familiar. Is this recycled? And then a Soul Rock also looks familiar, but I'm not sure. Oh, I think um, if there's like a little ditto there, then you end up getting the ditto card. We will not be peeling them. Let the uh, patrons do that themselves. A nice looking Zapdos. Four packs. Now let's take a look at the Uncommons. Leer module, Charmeleon. That is not a bad Charmeleon. I do like that. And then a Pupitar. So nothing on pack number one. This is a special set, um, and I'm not sure, maybe we'll compare this more to like Champion's Path than like Hidden Fates or Shining Fates, because there's no, I feel like there's not too many good consolation prize, kind of like, you know, how I would consider any of the shinies. Reverse Charmander is not bad. All right, Charmander and Charmeleon are solid looking arts. The, oh, we got the Blastoise. I was gonna say the Charizard looks pretty cool, and I think it's not too difficult to pull. One thing I did realize is actually this seems to happen with the initial wave on a lot of sets lately. Centering is not great. We got an area deuce. Let's put this aside. Area deuce. Oh wait, what was the oh reverse was a Charmander, so that's definitely not the ditto. I think I've seen the ditto is like on other channels, like it's a Nummel, Spinarak, and Bidoof, I think. Onyx. Ooh, okay, that's a good art. So this, um, like the, the Smeargle event, I'm remembering back, like he just like randomly popped in when you took a picture. So like this is perfect for this set. Uh, but some, like, yeah, this <laughs> one not so much. And the Magikarp again. Ape, oh, that's good too. Um, if you kind of like missed, I don't remember Ape on being hard to catch, but either way, a Poke Stop and Ah, just a blissey. So no hits yet, but um, <laughs> this is another solid art. Oh man, like uh, early, pretty early in the game, blissey was just so strong. Not not strong, but just so hard to get rid of in the gym. So yeah, when you see all the gyms on your screen, seeing a lot of blisseys <laughs> was very common. And uh, this is like a welcome sight to me because I was Valor. <laughs> so seeing, seeing my blissey in the gym, always a good feeling. There's the camera up. What was the reverse we pulled? Uh, that one was a Pokestop. All right, gotta remember to check that. All right, Ty, nothing yet. 
but we still got a decent number of packs. There's the Bidoof. I don't think the com or the non-reverse can be a ditto. Ooh, okay, we did get a Radiant starter. Actually, I think all the Radiants. Oh, wow, that's a pack right there. Uh, a lot of green going on. So we did get a Radiant, the Venusaur. Not the, you know, obviously we want the Charizard the most, but um, very solid pull right there. Take a look at these. Uh, another Charmeleon. All right, let's take a look at this Dragonite. Very solid Dragonite. And ooh, I feel like the centering is pretty good at this point. You know, I don't think full arts are great candidates for PSA or grading any longer, at least until like prices continue to drop. Let's take a look at the Venusaur. This is actually the first Radiant card I've held in hand. And to be honest, like that that the square pattern, it's not my favorite, but I do appreciate that it's different. So um Pretty cool. Let's just see. Sunny Bloom once at the end of your turn. You may use the ability to draw four to have four cards in hand at the end of your turn. Okay, so you don't it doesn't like end your turn or anything, but you just can't use the cards this turn. Very solid centering in my opinion. Especially when, you know, initial sets, the centering is never good. So very solid pull right there. Alright, let's keep it going. Oh, one last thing about the Radiant. So, and this is um, consistent with my experience playing Pokemon Go. It's like, oh, the starters? Like, they're not very different, the Shinies. <laughs> I was a little disappointing about that. Got some starter action going on. Bidoof into a Onix. No ditto yet. And then a Galissapod. I do think that uh, this set could have been executed a little bit better. Um... To be like, I, I did see some on some other channels, like people making comments that actually did make sense to me. Um, they could have embraced more aspects of Pokemon Go, which I'm, I'm not sure like how, but I did see some suggestions like uh, if you just kind of think along of the the events and try to include aspects of that, where uh, on Community Day, so there's that's when you can get a lot of the shiny. So include more of those. Um, even though I typically, ooh, there's a good pull for Ty. Snorlax is a big fan of that, and it looks eh, not perfect centered. And we got a Meltan reverse. I'm gonna put the Snorlax to the side for him. But, um, I don't know, maybe I saw one suggestion in the channel, just like use, add the move set from, from the community day events. And, um, I guess like having a unique move on a, on the cards it isn't that big of a deal but if they just took the same one that would have been a nice idea it's pretty easy to implement there was already community days for all of the starters and just add a couple more shinies because this actually does make sense to me to have them in this set beyond the, the three radiants that they had so i don't know i I feel like this set isn't isn't great to begin with, but the, and there could have been a little bit more done just to embrace the Pokemon Go aspects. Again, like I'm not sure. I'm sure there are other good ideas. Ah, oh, this is not the Ditto. I think I'm pretty sure you would see a little Ditto emblem here. Ooh, okay, we got the Charizard, and he's flying through the city like that. Let's just burn brightly. Reach Fire Energy attached to Pokemon provides two. Ooh. Uh, attached to your Pokemon, meaning it's not just for him. So actually, that that um obviously has some pretty good applications. Right, just including like Pokestops in the background art, I think that's good. Just get a regular sleeve for you. Oh, actually, one thing I didn't look at is the uh, ETB sleeves. This is what they look like. Actually, pretty good. That's that's solid. Having a, a Mewtwo is a um, pretty, pretty safe choice. All right, so we do have one Radiant, one Full Arts, and three packs remaining. Probably start speeding up a little bit to Ebipom. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Spibarrow, this might be my favorite art so far. The Zapdos into another Zapdos.
But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are for this set. Are you... I, I feel like I wouldn't be too surprised if people said they skipped it. Are you going easy, going singles? I imagine those would be like primarily answers. Are you super happy with the set? I'm curious how, where p people's opinions lie. A Tranquil? No, no dittos yet. And then another Snorlax. We got the reverse and the regular Snorlax. Not bad. All right, last pack for Ty. I feel like, you know, when you only have 10 packs, um, I feel like one of these streams I watch are just people opening nonstop. And it can go long breaks between hits, so I feel like we did pretty good, all things considered. Like, it could have been a lot worse. Aridos into uh, Garrett. Actually, that's not a bad Gyarados art. Even though you can't see a lot of the Gyarados, I appreciate the different style, the different viewpoint. Um, that Slowbro art is pretty, pretty plain, but I kind of like it. Alright, thanks Ty. Let me just put all this to the side, and then we'll begin the break for A next. Uh, so I still have the Marnie playmat, just because uh, that's what I had when I moved. But we will be moving to the Radiant Eevee. So the Radiant Eevee, you get the Eevee instead of the Mewtwo, you get two less packs. But you do get a playmat, and I believe the regular price is the same as this ETB. The playmat looks really nice. I'm not even a big fan of what a shiny Eevee looks like, or Radiant Eevee, I suppose. And uh, I don't even know if the promo is any good. But the playmat does look nice. Alright, hey, let's do it. I feel like it's been a hot minute since we've done a break for you, so best of luck. Alright. As always, everybody, if you do want to support the channel, the easiest way is to like and be subscribed. There's that nice but barrel spinner rack. Still haven't found any dittos. A Wimpod. Alola Nortata. Then a Blastoise. Or like, I don't know, if some of the arts were, and, and I feel like this could have been, ooh, I like that War Turtle. Um, pretty easy to do, is just like take what the Pokemon looked like in the game and just put it on a card. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe that's an IP thing with, um, what is it, Nantech? But I actually think I would have appreciated and you could have done that really easy. Alright, I think this is a regular V card. Ooh, Meltan V Max or Melmetal V Max. Not a big fan of Melmetal, but I like this this different angle. Looks like he's about to <laughs> really lay the hurt down. Let's just take a look at the card. 330 HP G Max Juggernaut 160 does 60 more damage for each extra metal energy attached to it. So up to two extra ones for 280 damage um when pokemon are very simple i actually think that works uh what comes to mind is like when i did play ptcgo the syndrace oh no census scorch syndrace all right not a bad hit that two ah uh, pikachu and there's a Mel Metal again. We might be getting a lot of Mel Metals in this in this box. Spin rack area dips. All right, I want this Mewtwo. Pit of egg incubator. Ah, oh, this does bring back memories having to like catch all your eggs. Um, figure out which incubators I want to use, trying to not use all my coins to use like the special ones. Uh, I do, I do miss, miss playing. Uh, it's just so difficult to play now where I would have to like drive to a park just to, just to play. Oh, we got another Radiant. We got the Blastoise. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with these Radiants, but, uh, yeah, we do want the Charizard, although we do got the Turtle for A. Uh, I feel like the centering is not perfect. It is pretty good though. Let's just take a look at this card. You must discard a water energy from your hand in order to use this ability once in your turn. Put two damage counters on your opponent's bench. Um, one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That could be annoying. Torrential Cannon. Once every next Pokemon, I can't use this attack. Hey, that's a pretty solid pack. Charizard. 
Oh no, you know, we want the double Charizard. <laughs> no, we want the Charizard into the Dragonite. Let's get that. But nice pull right there for A. And we'll put the Charizard back here. It's all the Charizard art. And one that's, um, actually that one's terribly centered. Uh, I suspect that there'll be plenty of 10s out there, so it should be a pretty easy one to pick up on the secondary market, PSA 10, I suspect, in, I don't know, six months to a year from now. And, uh, solid art. Articuno. Like, as far as art goes, I would say, I would place that one above the Champion's Path ETB one. Uh, but if you are, like, a Charizard collector, that is, like... Lowest of the low hanging fruit as far as adding Charizards to your PSA collection, where you could probably get like a 10 for I don't know, 50 bucks or something. Onyx, Eevee. Oh, well, they should add some Evolutions, I think. Lapras. Actually, we've been we've been uh, hitting the Evolutions pretty hard lately. All right, we do got a Mewtwo, just the regular V. I feel like this pose looks similar to the Hidden Fates one, but this one's just slightly cooler in every way. Take that. All right, so maybe this uh, hit ratio is slightly better than the first one. Three packs remaining. Let's see, what are some of the other? I think Conkledur, which I'm not too. Oh, but let's get a Dragonite. So we still need the Radiant Zard. A Dragonite would be nice. And uh, yeah, more Mewtwo's. Ooh. Thought that was the radiant again. I, I like this. I like his pose. Like, I'm not sure turtles are big on pouncing, but this this blaster is literally about to pounce on something with a Gyarados. Two packs remaining. Yeah, so probably have limited breaks for this, uh, but do appreciate the patrons that do decide to participate. Spin a rack. Ah, a palm. No, no dittos yet. So, all right, we got another full art. This one is the Alolan Executor. This art is just so... Oh, man, okay. So, what they should have did... I'm uh, pretty sure... I actually don't know what the promo looks like off the top of my head, but they should have had this guy not even show his face. And anyone that's playing Pokemon Go understands that, because when you try to catch this guy in the, uh, in the game, like... His head is so high, you don't even see. You're just like chucking a Pokeball at his body. And that's what I mean. Like, th there's more potential in this set than they actually implemented. And I think that was a perfect example. It, like, connects you back to the game. And it's like, yep, I remember that. So I'm pretty sure they did do that. But, like, I don't know. That one made a nice alt art. So, ah, uh, yeah, you know what? That, I think that, that's a good idea. Charmander. Magic All right, no dittos this open. I do think we have one more hit, and this is the last pack. So, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, huge shout out to Ty and A. And your last hit is Ah Gunkelder. I was hoping for that Dragonite, but that's gonna do it for this opening. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.